Okay, g'day Ian and welcome to Bumper to Bumper. How are you going buddy? Oh, how are you? Yep. Yeah, very good thanks. My name's Ian Lee uh, and this is our uh, Mac LTL which we imported from America. That The LTL never came to Australia. They were 2060 built from 1947 to 1956. This one is a 1956 model. Uh, it has been fitted with a later engine which is a 400 big cam Cummins uh, and it has been fitted with airbag rear end to improve the ride. Uh, it was a log truck in America. When we brought it to Australia, we decided to make it into a body truck and we put a ring feeder on the back. Uh, so it was, you know, trying to make it an imitation road train truck, I suppose, but we haven't done any road train at this stage. You plan on doing road train? Oh, I don't think so, no. <laughs> it, it's good to dream, isn't it, eh? It is good to dream. Yeah. Keep the dream alive. Uh, so that's about the story to it, I suppose. And that's All right. Well, um, was it restored when you uh, first brought it in? Well, we completely stripped it out and repainted it. was black when we got it. And, of course, we converted it to right-hand drive and we reupholstered it. And, but the truck generally is as it come from, from the States because it, it had been restored for a gentleman over there who called it My Pal and we promised it it would always be called My Pal. And hopefully that will uh, continue on for many years to come. Now tell us a story about uh, not just the My Pal but the, the name or the insignia of the drawing that we've got of the Indian's head that you were telling me just before please. Oh well we promised the chap we'd call it My Pal and I sort of thought well how do you sort of put My Pal? You, I wanted to put something on the door and they didn't want to put our private name on it so well, we come up with the idea of we'll use an Indian. Indians were called White Cloud or Big Bull for some of them and things. So I thought, well, you know, an Indian's head and my pal, it sort of make a bit of sense. So that's how it come about. And uh, the young chap who done it for me also done the, the Diana and he done a very good job and he looks like a pretty tough old Indian that's doing a bit of riding his Mustang across the Western Plains, I suppose. So, uh, and these trucks were specifically designed for the West Coast of America. Now, why did you actually import this truck? What made you think to yourself, I like this truck? Well, I've always loved Max, and of course the greatest Mac that they probably ever made in the early days was the LTL. It was a very expensive truck, and, and that's why large numbers were never sold, but uh, it's an extremely popular truck. Okay, Ian, welcome back. Now, you've got another truck. It's the Diamond T. Yeah, yeah. Mate, this truck has got a lot of chrome work on it. It's exceptional. I think it's one beautiful looking truck. Tell me a little bit about it, buddy. Well, this is a truck that we decided to do. I had a Diamond T that we'd restored, but it had its limitations as regards room and comforts, and we decided to build a, a fully customised truck, and this, this is our effort. Uh, so we bought the, the remains of a, a diamond tea at a truck lickers up in Toowoomba, uh, which was really only a skeleton, and we got another cabin off of another wrecker in Dolby, and, and uh, we built it. So we've completely modified the cabin. We dropped the floor. We moved the firewall out. Uh, we put 65 mil in the back of the cabin to make more leg room. We put 50 mil in the, in the ceiling to give you more head height and to allow us to put a lot of instruments up over the windscreen. Uh, we lengthened the bonnets, uh, we put the V-type bumper on it so we could move the engine further forward to give us more leg space in the cabin. Uh, we put a later model Cummins engine and Allison six-speed automatic transmission uh, and a late model metal rear end with airbag suspension. We mounted the whole, the cabin, the guards and the sleeper all on one common rail and mounted that on airbags. Uh, all of the running gear is out of a late model truck, so it's really a fully customised truck. Well, it's a beautiful looking truck. Now, how long ago did you finish doing the customisation work? Well, gee, that's a good question. About four years ago, I suppose. Now, you, you, I don't mean to be rude, but you're not a young fella, so for you to take on a project like this and customise a truck, uh, you know, you, you, you must be very passionate about trucks. Well, I'm pretty young at heart, you know. Ah. There ain't nothing wrong with the mind, it's just the other belts let me down some days. But, uh, I won't ask what they are. <laughs> but I'm very lucky, I've got a very good team of people that help me do things, and everything we do is a team effort, and... Uh, 
So without their effort, it would never have been what it is today. It's a beautiful truck. You guys must do great work because you can see this on your trucks. And I just want to say thanks for being on Bumper to Bumper. Oh, no, that's it. No, thank you for inviting me on. Cheers, mate. All the best. Thank you.